What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a multi-step form. Now let's just dive right in. The first thing you're going to need to do is download the plugin. Head over to your plugins. Go to add new. And you're going to want to type in multi multi-step form. And then you're going to want to download this one. It's called literally multi-step form. <laughs> Click activate. Now this is just the one that I found that is completely free and it's very easy to set up. Um, so once you've activated that, let's go ahead and actually go into the multi-step form page here and let's add a new one. And we don't you can give it a name but I'm not going to give it a name right now so this is going to be our first step so let's go ahead and just name this um, I'm going to name this honestly just um, step one and then give this a title so um, contact you can put contact info Sorry, contact info. And then let's go ahead and just add a um, text field and this can be this can be name. And let's do email. Let's make these required. And let's add one more and we can go ahead and add a number here. Um, so let's go ahead. Actually, I'm going to use the, um, actually just going to use a text field instead. I feel like that might be better. Type in phone number. Okay. All right. Now that that's set up, let's go ahead and add a, another section. Um, actually, sorry, let me remove this one and, and add another step. That's what I meant. Let's go ahead and add another step. Um, and then what could this be? Uh, this could be just, um, let's see here. Let's rip this list type step. Step two. Um, it's just gonna be like info, um, main info. Really just something completely random, guys. I'm. I'm sure you guys will have good use for this. Um, okay. Uh, let's just sorry, remove this. Let's add, a, add something in here. Let's um, go ahead and just um, let's add a drop down here or radio box. Um, and yeah, so we can just add an answer. Uh, maybe, you know, they're. I don't know how many something really random guys like how many dogs do you have uh, you can put one right at a section put two any questions that you may want to add there okay and it could be multiple select or it can just be they can only have the option to select one all right, and then I'm just going to add our last section here. Um, this can be website info, um, really just basic stuff. Um, so honestly, let's you can even have them download stuff. You can have a, a drop down menu or a, or a checkbox. Um, since I am asking for a website, I would just honestly just do a, um, a text right here. And just put website URL and then maybe just a file if you wanted to do that I don't know file just kind of testing this out here okay and you can add a, a, a headline to this and then a description if you wanted to okay now let's just go ahead and save this and uh, we need to enter a valid email so Obviously, we, this needs to be sent to a certain email, so we're just going to do test, 
101, I don't know, test33 um, at gmail.com. And then you're going to want to add a, um, I don't know if that one's necessary, but if it is, we can just do that. Um, send from name, Uriel, um, email, steps. So, and then just click save. All right, and now it has been successfully saved on there. Now we're gonna go ahead and actually um, add that onto one of our pages. So I am using Elementor, but they do give you, let me go back, they do give you short code and you can just add that into um, any of your pages. So, but since I am using Elementor, I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and do this with Elementor. I'm gonna go ahead and edit the contact page. Okay, so here we have our contact page. Looks like a really nice contact page. Now, uh, all we need to do is just add the form in here. So I'm gonna add it right above or, or at the bottom. I think you'd be better if I add it right above. So let's go ahead and type in short code here and let's add it right in here. This would be the perfect spot. Let's add it in there. That might look a little weird right now, but it will probably look better in the preview version. Okay. So you can tell we have step one, step two. And I might, let me go back actually here. I can fix this up as well, but um, let me go ahead and go back into the multi-step form. Because I believe I didn't add a third step. Let's see what I did here, step. Oh yeah, so that's what I did, okay. So I need to add another step and I'm gonna go ahead and actually grab this over here. Bring it over here. Because this was actually supposed to be my third step. I know this can kind of get a little bit confusing sometimes. So let's go ahead and remove this now. And let's do um, step three. And this can be website info. Oops, let me, I did not mean to do that. Let's go ahead and click save. Let's go back to our contact page and then let's just kind of um, fix this up a bit. Let's give us some padding here. So go into advance from the section if you are using Elementor. And then um, in the padding, let's go ahead and, and move this. Maybe uh, 30 pixels. Actually, you know what? Let's do this within the actual within the actual column. So let's go to advanced. And probably do about 30. Should be good there. Let's see how that looks. There we go. Okay. Now I do want this in the center, right? I mean, I don't, I don't, I kind of want all this in the center. So I'm sure there should be an option to center this. And if there's not, there's, that's just what we're going to have to work with for now. Just because, like I said, it is a free plugin, so you do have to work with what you got sometimes. But I'm sure we can center it ourselves as well. Let's go into settings here. Display summary, styling. So, so this is how you can style it. I have the right colors because these colors actually, you know what? Let me actually make this a little more green instead. Because since I'm, and I actually do need, actually do want it to go with my website, and I do want it to have a progress um, bar up there, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and save this. And if you did want to add a caption to that, you can go ahead and do that as well. HTML. Might look a little bit different on your website because um, I have tried it before and usually this is in the center. So it's kind of weird that it's not in the center right now. Um, 
usually this is in the center. But I'm trying to see why it's not in the center. Yeah, because usually it is in the center, but that, that's that's fine. I mean, we could go ahead and um, go ahead and work with that anyway. So let's go ahead and actually. It might just be my theme as well. So yeah, regardless, this works anyway. So this works for me. Usually it is in the center. It might be in the center for you. Um, but regardless, this works for me. It's just what you got to work with sometimes when you are using a free plugin. But let's go ahead and test this out. So let's do Uriel. Yeah, my, just do my email. And if you know some CSS, I'm sure you can really figure this out, how to move it to this side. I do know CSS and um, I would do it, but it's gonna take too much time in this video. So let's just click next and let's click one of these. And then let's go ahead and, and um, just paste a random website.com. If I wanted to choose a file, go ahead and do that. And then you just go ahead and click submit here. And that's done successful right and if they wanted to view their summary they can also view their summary which is actually really cool so this is like an actually really cool form compared to a lot of them guys i mean i know that it's not standard but regardless it's still really cool um and i really like the layout so not really going to complain why it's not standard because to be honest it still actually really looks really nice um, but if you guys do have any any questions, feel free to let me know down below, and I'll uh, make sure I can help you guys out. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video and you guys do want to see more content like this, um, feel free to subscribe so you can uh, you can get caught up when I upload my next video. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.